Hello everybody and welcome. I noticed that a lot of Windows users besides myself had the problem that they can't export from DaVinci Resolve on their Windows machine into QuickTime, uh, be it with a DNHXD codec or uh, whatever. But they could, for example, export into a uh, AV and into EXR, but um, QuickTime just wouldn't work. What happens is this. I just demonstrate this. Where to render queue and then you start rendering and before you know it says that uh, Resolve couldn't render blah blah blah. It said no write permission. And this is of course uh, nonsense because you could you could um, export as, as AV or something else. So um, this is total nonsense but here's the solution. Most likely you have named your disks the wrong way. So the volume name of your hard disk has probably a weird sign in it. Or a sign what's not accepted in the combination DaVinci Resolve and QuickTime. And um, you see that I did this on purpose here. I used this drive what has slashes in the, in the drive name. And this is interpreted in another way because you know it's it's something from the Apple guys, I guess. And uh, if you use if you change that into uh, dashes, for example, then you are good to go. And just to demonstrate this, I'm going to uh, change this to a disk where I already uh, made a change. I just have to fish for the right folder here. And now we add this to the queue. And as you can see, it renders like a charm and it's very fast. It's actually very, very, very fast. Uh, totally fast. So, however, I hope this helped because I saw that there wasn't a solution uh, published somewhere would actually uh, help somebody and I hope I could fill a gap here. Thanks for watching, have a great day ahead. I come back with more very soon. I have something for my subscribers that I really want to talk about, so uh, stay tuned. Goodbye.